Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lamplight City. We're on the trail of a Roger DeVay. We need to speak to him. We don't know where we can find him and we don't seem to have any more leads. So we're going to speak to Upton, see if she can track him down because quite often she does know more information. So let's do this. Got a moment, Upton? Yes, but let's make this quick. Uh, well, that's a no then. <laughs> we don't want to wrap up now. the case. Better get back to it then. We will get back to it. Oh, that's somewhat annoying. So let's take a look at the case book. So we've got to investigate the Gascoigne Supper Club. So maybe we've got to do that. Uh, report to Upton and declare Desiree Lathan's death the result of spontaneous combustion. No. Return to Upton and accuse Margaret Andrews. Possibly, but we, we want to investigate everything and locate Roger DeVay. So maybe the Supper Club then is where we need to go next. Failing that, I, d I don't really know. Um, it's here, isn't it? The Supper Club. So it's got, is it something to do with this lady then? I mean, we've had a look at most things. We spoke to her before earlier in the game and she seemed to have a bit of a crush on Miles. So I may have more questions for you later. I can scarcely contain my excitement. <sighs> okay, These so are all high end foo foo liqueurs and cordials. You couldn't pay me to drink that rubbish. I'm trying to see what it is we've got to investigate here, to be honest. These are all high. Uh, the bridge to Lyon overlooking the House of Parliament. I suppose that seeing that helps the patrons of this club put on airs. It doesn't really look like there's anything else we can do here, so maybe something will happen later on. Um, so, I mean, really, the only other thing... We've got the magazine we tried there. The Oh, DeVay's residence? Is this... Oh no, this was that, this was this guy. Best not to bother him any further. He's got a hard enough time of it as it is. Yeah, so this, this, so we have the paintings. By the chum straw standards, mats. that's practically a four-poster. Yeah, those aren't half bad. Too bad they aren't finished. That's right, and we theorized... Hmm, I wonder if they're going to be used to keep the fire going. Possibly. We theorized that perhaps it was this DeVay guy who painted the picture in the victim's bedroom. So... I don't really... We've got to locate Roger DeVay. So... I mean, really, the only other thing that's worked in the past when we've run out of things to do, because we've been to the bank and everywhere, is to go and speak to Addie, our wife, and sometimes she can point us Hello, in the dearest. right direction. I have returned. Good to see you've made it back in one piece. So maybe we can try something here? If not, I don't know if we screwed something up. Addie? What is it, Miles? Uh, okay. Let's ask about herself. What have you been up to lately? Nothing particularly exciting. My usual clients have been scheduling appointments, and I've been trying to get some new ones as well. In my free time, I've been catching up on my reading. Anything good? Yes, the conclusion to the dissembling mechanism was just published in Brentwell Magazine last week. What's that? James Penstroke's latest serial. I wanted to read it to you, but you haven't been around much lately. Perhaps I'll take a look, now that I can actually concentrate again. Yes, you could read it to me. I wouldn't mind hearing it again. It would certainly be a nicer way to spend your time than going out drinking. Yeah, we're still in trouble about that, aren't we? Uh, should we apologize? Let's apologize. Addy, please know that I'm deeply sorry for my behavior last night. I'll do everything I can to make it up to you. Would you like me to get some new begonias? I don't need pretty flowers or pretty words, Miles. I just want things to go back to how they were. That's really all the apology I require. Okay. Should we compliment her? Maybe in a minute. Let's ask about Charlotte Robineau. You've got an appointment with Charlotte Robineau later today, don't you? Are you using your detecting skills oh, on yeah. you? Oh, yeah. I spoke with her at the Gascon Supper Club, and she mentioned you. Turns out she knew Desiree Lathan. Makes sense. That social circle is tiny. She wasn't very forthcoming, though. Do you think you might try and persuade her to talk? Persuasion shouldn't be necessary. She usually just sits in the chair and starts gossiping up a storm. <laughs> I think I know about more right. about all the Gascon Grand Dames than anyone should. Oh, cool. That's good. That's very So what good. does she know? Uh, here's what I want to know. Right. These are the things I want you to ask her about. What do we want her to, to ask about? So oh. So you want me to take off about an inch, but keep enough for your curls? Yes, that's right. You know how I like it, Adelaide. Okay. Uh, any new suitors catch your eye? What happened to Desiree Lathan? How was the Grand Dam's ball? 
Uh, how was the Grand Dame's ball? Let's ask how about that. How was the Grand Dame's ball? Was your hair do a hit? Oh, it was. All those other old biddies were practically fainting with jealousy. Truth be told, though, the evening was rather dull. Just the regular crowd of wags and gossips. You know, sometimes I envy people like you, Adelaide. People like me? Yes, you know. Ordinary people. Hi. Being a member of high society can be so draining. One quite lacks a sense of purpose, of ordinary honest usefulness that comes from a good day's labor. Have you done much of that sort of labor yourself, <laughs> madam? I was wondering that. What? No, of course not. But I imagine it must be quite good for the soul. You imagine. Quite grounding. Just being what you are. No airs or pretense. Oh, you, you've missed a bit there on the left ear. Do be sure it comes out even. Certainly, madam. So this is pretty cool. So we're, we're, we're playing as, as Addy now. Uh, any new suitors catch your eye? What happened to Desiree Lathan? The music you're playing is lovely. Let's, let's warm up to... I have to say, to... your musical selection for today is lovely. It's nice to know someone like you can appreciate some of the finer points of culture. In case you were wondering, the piece is the fourth symphony by a composer named Theophilus von Wagner. Yes, it's refreshing to hear the fourth symphony for a change. Most people know von Wagner for his fifth symphony or his lute concerto in D minor. Oh, you you know von Wagner? Although I admit he isn't one of my favorite Baroque composers, I can appreciate what he brought to the movement. She wasn't expecting I'm more in that. In favor of Scaravaldi, his development of the Concerto Grosso makes for a much richer musical tapestry. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, well. Ha, so. <laughs> she doesn't know. Do you have any favorites among Scaravaldi's works? His first symphony is quite riveting. <laughs> Do you mean his concerto for mandolin? He didn't have a first symphony as such. Well, well yes. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, sure you did. <sighs> as much as I enjoy chatting, perhaps you should concentrate on what you're doing, dear. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have, um... Shouldn't have asked her about that i don't know right what happened just just going for the desiree lathan line i was reading in the paper this morning about what happened with desiree lathan did you hear about that oh such a tragedy poor desi we hadn't talked in a long time but how terrible to think of her dying in such a horrible way my condolences thank you dear uh were you and desiree friends did you and desiree used to be friends Oh, we were like sisters. Right, it seems like she is willing to talk what about this, which is good. Uh, what else? A man got involved. Yeah. You were both after the same man? No, no, quite the contrary. We both enjoyed being unattached and had vowed to keep it that way. The spinster sisters, we used to call nice. ourselves. But I fell for a man a few years ago. We got married and Desiree stopped speaking to me. Hi. Oh. That's a shame. Yes, especially considering the marriage only lasted a few brief months. I lost both my husband and my best friend. I'm sure there's a lesson to be learned in that. Maybe. Uh, I heard that Desiree had her portrait painted. Let's keep on the Desiree um, subject, shall we? I heard someone mention that Desiree had her portrait painted recently. Yes, I heard that too. I think it was Caroline who told me. Yes, that was it. Caroline. She was looking for a portrait artist and told me Desiree had found one. Roger DeVay. Oh, I knew it. Okay. Yeah, so let, let's keep going with this line of inquiry because she, she's talking and also the, the other subjects she sort of shut down a little bit. So uh, who is this Roger DeVay? It sounds mysterious. Roger DeVay? Sounds mysterious. Who is he? Well, I don't know about mysterious. He's just an artist. Not a very good one either, from what I hear. He didn't do a hmm. good job on the portrait? Oh, no, no, he did fine. I just meant he hasn't really taken off. His paintings aren't worth very much, you see. Right, because that's what it's all about. But Desiree him very quickly. He even went as far as giving him an extra key to her apartment. Oh. If there was anything more going on Ooh. between them, I couldn't say. But she could have done a lot better, if you ask me. I mean, he's barely even an artist now. I heard he took a teaching position at the university. Now, 
Who would uh -huh. want their lives immortalized by a lecturer? I see. Well, I hope he makes it in the world someday. So he works Miracles at the university. He works at the university, but also he had a key to her apartment. So he could have got in to kill her. The painting was obviously on the wall. Maybe we've got another potential suspect here. Okay, uh, so it's called out there today. Let's let's not ask about this. Okay, I'm finished. Good. I think that's all finished. Thank you, Adelaide. It was a pleasure, as always. Likewise, Miss Robino. I'll see you next week. Okay, so we've and got she some. She didn't tip very well either. Ah, oh. I'm sorry, dear. She sounds positively dreadful. She does. No more than the other Gascon Grand Dames. I just hope you manage to get something useful. Yes, from that. very, very, very useful. Speak to Roger DeVay at the university. Nice. So we've got to remember that whenever we run into things where it seems like information Enjoy is reading. drying up. I'll be back soon. Good luck. We want to come and speak to Upton or Addy because it seems like they quite often hold the key. So the university again. We've been here on a previous case, but this time we're going to the art room. Is this a, uh, a live model? Let's uh, have a look around first before we talk to All the tools and artists DeVay. will ever need. Brushes, pieces of canvas, paints. Nice. There's also several jars full of clear liquid. Interesting. Oh, could that be the mysterious substance? I'm guessing it's locked, but it probably only contains more art supplies we don't care about. I'm starting to think that DeVay could be our main suspect, you know? Where dreams go to die. <laughs> so this is DeVay. Uh, we've got some other people here, some drawings. These aren't half bad. Nice to know the students aren't completely wasting their time here. Okay. The model. Well. So much for modesty. <laughs> Ew, is it warm in here or is it just me? <laughs> nice. Well, we could maybe take some of these supplies. Let's talk to DeVay first. Excuse me. Yes. Are you Roger DeVay? I am. Miles Fordham, private investigator. I have some questions for you if you aren't too busy. Will this take long? This isn't exactly the best time. It shouldn't, no. All right then, quickly. All right, fine. Uh, let's ask about himself first. How long have you been teaching at this university? Nice moustache. About four years now. And do you also earn money with your painting? Not of late. I haven't sold a painting in some time. That's a shame. But my salary from the university is enough for the time being. Perhaps someday I'll be able to devote the proper focus to my painting. Okay, Desiree Lathan. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? Do you know Desiree Lathan? Desiree? Yes, of course I know her. What happened to her was just... Awful. Indeed. My condolences, Mr. DeVay. What can you tell me about her? She was a wonderful woman. Sharp, full of life, extremely witty. I only knew her for a short time, but I consider myself lucky to have had her as a friend. How did you two meet? Mm. We were introduced at a party and became fast friends. It's hard to believe she's really gone. So, why is it... Okay. Something's not adding up here. He's not telling us everything, is he? Let's ask... Should we ask about the death? Do you have any information regarding Desiree's death? No, none at all. It came as a total shock. I heard she was burned to death. Oh, is that true? It is. It's really just unthinkable. Do you know of anyone who might have wished harm upon her? No, everyone loved her. To think someone could be capable of doing that to her, it just makes me feel sick. Uh, okay. Uh, Desiree's will? Should we do that or should we do... Let's do the portrait first because this is a biggie, right? We want to get all the information first. You painted Desiree's portrait, is that right? Yes. I finished it just a few months ago. Do you often do commissioned work? Sometimes, but this wasn't exactly a commission. More like a gift. Right. You mean you weren't paid for it? No, I didn't do it for money. It was an honor just to paint her. I see. And did she like the result? Well, she had it hanging in her bedroom and not in her attic, so I assumed she liked it well enough. It was a Fair. rather nice portrait, I must admit. Oh, so you've seen it. Indeed I have. Regrettably, I can't comment on the likeness, never having seen the subject in life. That's true. Ah, yes. Well, she used to say that standing in front of it was like looking into a mirror. I tried my best to do her justice. 
All right, let's go on for the will then. Is it true that Miss Lathan recently changed her will to make you her beneficiary? Yes, you can imagine my surprise. My understanding mm. is she left you quite a significant sum. I don't see how that's any of your business, but yes, she did. I'm very lucky. Oh, I see what you're getting at. You're thinking I killed her for her money. Is that it? Well, I mean... <laughs> I never said anything of the sort, Mr. DeBay. No, but I can see it in your eyes. Look, Desiree considered me the son she never had, and she was like my second mother. I would never, ever even think of doing something so horrid. Oh, I'm sure he wouldn't. No. I'll let you get back to your class. Right. I'm, I, don't, I don't know whether I believe him or not. All right, let's see if we can grab some supplies. Uh, this is linseed oil. It's used as a drying agent for oil paint things. It would be a good idea to take a sample of this, Miles. Especially now that nobody's looking. Linseed oil. Well, maybe that could be our missing substance. Uh, okay, so the actually the only two things we've got here are to return to Upton and accuse Margaret or declare it as um, spontaneous combustion. But I think maybe we can uh, use this linseed oil. Maybe we can use it on the desk in the morgue. So we'll do that, but we will have to do that in the next episode, guys, because we are out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you next time.